Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. This morning, news adjust him as the daughter Turailo Dinga has come out to complain about her all electronics hacked, all completely unusable. And whatever she's saying, meet me in the streets. That is the information that we are getting. Um, and her Twitter handle is the same thing that he has she has come out to write. And it is the same thing that she has said that all electronics hacked, all completely unusable, all dead. Meet me in the street. Ruto must go. That is whatever Winnie Odinga has come out to post. Now, I want us to uh, look at also the reasons and um, whatever is happening in uh, as we speak now Raila Odinga's homestead little activities at Raila Odinga's residence in Karen as Kenyans are asking themselves several questions at what time are they going to start the mass action. Now, I want us to have a critical analysis. Why Raila Odinga and his close family members are being seriously followed when it comes to their conversation online in social medias and also through their phones their electronic objects it is so weird that now it has reached at a point that they are being watched so close on either phone call that they are having towards the news that they are giving Kenyans and as per what their intention are towards the mass action of today. When I watched the drama that is happening in CBD, it is a very intensified panic from this government as the only help that they are having now is that they don't have people but they have the police to misuse, to block Raila Odinga's mass action. As per the earlier reports we got from the police, the National Police Service and the Nairobi commander came out saying that Raila Odinga's mass action never met threshold for them to be given a license. But even though they came out saying that the mass action was illegal but again i'm realizing that these people are having an intention of ensuring that mass action is not going to happen in nairobi as we speak now many people have been blocked from accessing nairobi cbd some that were traveling from other counties to nairobi we are being told also they have been blocked not to access Nairobi. You are being told, what are you going to do to Nairobi? Do you have any business in Nairobi? Do you have relatives? That's kind of this, such questions that they were asking. But what next? If truly these people are so intensified, in a such a way that now they are using police officers to frustrate any kind of mass action across the Republic of Kenya. Then the only thing that they are doing is that they are creating high tension in the Republic of Kenya. Because if truly mass action is allowed in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, you just give the people their time. Let them pick it, let them have mass action, 
let them demonstrate protest as per the law. Let them not destroy the property. Let not be violence. That is it. But to tell Azimio Laomoja had come out to tell Kenyans is that this mass action is going to be peaceful. Now, as we speak now, when we watch at whatever police officers are doing in Kibira, and we are being told that police officers collect car tires left on the roadsides in Kibira, Ayani area. We are being told that they were having a camp yeah, during the night. Now, again, police blocked pro processional way leading to state house. And in fact, when we block Nagari, when we block Nagari, so these people are so panicked. The same thing, police line up outside KICC. That is whatever is happening. And again, something that is connected with also whatever is going to happen is that as Mew has come out to make a U-turn, they say, that in that regard, all Azimio supporters were warned not to wear their prospective party colors. Azimio issued last minute caution, changes dress code for mass action. And this dress code is that according to the intelligent reports, is that Azimio coalition has come out to announce the changes, Jubilee Party General Secretary Kion revealed that they were acting on intelligent, um, intelligent act and reports that it was endorsed by Orange Democratic Movement Kioni urge all Azimio supporters to ditch party colors while attending rallies. To all our Jubilee Azimio supporters, we have information that our rivals have illegally acquired Jubilee t-shirts and other materials to impassionate our party members to cause violence. The Jubilee Secretary General stated, Supporting Kioni's statement, ODM party leadership also maintained that they were planning to hold peaceful protest. Kenyans will hold peaceful demonstration tomorrow. It is our constitutional right. Our rivals have acquired uh, with ODM as new colors to be worn by their hired supporters to cause mayhem. We want to warn them that no one from our sides will wear party colors. The party remarked on the dress code changes. Azimio is holding a rally to pressure President William Ruto. But again, on the other side, we are being told there are certain individuals that has been put on place to ensure that they are going to wear uniforms of certain parties of Azimio. Wiper, ODM, Jubilee, DAPK, so that they can create mayhem and violence so that it can be seen that Nairobi business, um, or rather in Nairobi CBD, the violence that is going to be created is going to be Azimio. But because they have changed, I'm, I'm, I'm told that it is going to be white in color. And they are going at close now. Because the t-shirts that they, print, they had printed for Jubilee, ODM, Wiper, and DAPK of Azimio, they are going at close because the Azimio has come out to change their tactics. Now they are going to wear white colors. So we are waiting whatever is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. If things are going to change, then I'm ready to update you here because there is a heavy police officers presence in Nairobi CBD. But we are waiting the way things are going to be as long as they say that uh, the, 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 the mass action must be peaceful, then let us wait whatever is going to happen. So ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? What are your thoughts toward Winnie Odinga's gadgets being hacked? Number two, what are your thoughts after Azimio has come out to change their dress code? Because it was being seen like this government was already with people 
who are printing t-shirts of ODM Jubilee Party Wiper and EPK to create mayhem and violence in Nairobi so that it can be seen like as new parties are creating violence. Drop opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye. Till you meet on another video.